let's go to the formation, the whole ideology of being a member of the Brigitte Sisters. Right. You know, t briefly take me through. You know. Well, um, on the th uh, three years of formation, you get to know what uh, what it's all about. You get to uh, hear the story of the congregation, its founding, and all that sort of thing. And it was founded by a, a, a bishop uh, in 1807 to respond to a need in the community. And that need was for education. And he um, wanted to educate rich and poor alike. So, 1807, it was about um, what an integrated way of education. And it was inclusive. And nowadays we talk about inclusion, big time. We want to be an inclusive society. But that was there at the heart of his. And the, the logo was strength and gentleness. The strength to do whatever had to be done. You know, confidence and strength. And then gentleness, that it was to be with compassion. With a strong sense of compassion for rich and poor alike. And education was the great need of the time. And uh, it was faith education and edu secular education. So that's what, he started off with Sunday schools. And uh, he had an emphasis on music and culture. Uh, so that's, that was the, the basis of it. So um, that's what we were, um, conditioned with, we grew up with, and a, a love of scripture, so that you, the Beatitudes, I've come that you may have life and have it to the full, and that life for everybody. So that really got me big time. I came from, a, a, you know, I suppose you would call it a comfortable, well-heeled family, where we had education, we had uh, food and clothing, and we never wanted for anything. So I saw my parents being very good to people who had less, uh, you know, and we treated everybody, you know, the same. So I, that, I would have had a strong ethos of all that from my home. So as, you know, as I, I grew into Brigidine, I went to college and, um, uh, you know, did the degree for, for um, arts degree and for teaching and I taught then in various schools but um, I had a great respect for students and a great love of them and a love of learning and um, you know I suppose that is reading and learning and ongoing stuff and encouraging students you know that they could always do what they wanted to do um, and you know, focus on what was, you know, that they were capable. And the idea I had was of empowering them, whatever was their gift or their talent. When in, the, in, in, that, in those years of formation to being a Brigidian sister, you were actually, you know, it was actually driven down. The message was actually driven down, like the education, inclusion, strength and gentleness. These messages were told in such a way that you, you, you were left in no doubt. I was left in no doubt, but it wasn't, it wasn't an easy uh, road either, because there were lots of challenges. And because you had doubts? And doubts, yes. I remember six months after I had entered, I went to the, the novice mistress and I told her that I didn't think maybe that I was in the right place. And she challenged me on that. Well, she just, she said, oh, she said, why, why do you think that? And I said, well, I have a friend that I was very, uh, a boyfriend. I said, I can't get him out of my head. I'm thinking of him all the time. And so she said, oh, I wouldn't mind that. That's, that's quite normal. It's quite natural. And for, once she said that, it was almost, didn't, I didn't, uh, once I had expressed it, I think, it was no longer a problem for me. So, um, I well, just... you didn't continue to see the boy? No, I didn't, uh, but I used to get letters from friends who would be telling me about him. 
Well, so, telling me... Well, the communication stopped with him. Oh, yeah. I, once I went to the convent, I didn't have communication with him until I was professed. And then I did happen to meet him. But at that stage, but I had told him anyway that whether I was going to come or go, that he was free and to go his way and I wanted to go my way. But because he did say, I'll, I'll wait for you. And I said, no, I said, I wouldn't want you to do that. Because he was the last person I met yeah. before, you know, before he came to a, a house party we had on the night before I left. So that was okay. So it was, you know, once I, once I expressed it, it seemed to, to go. Didn't, it wasn't a problem anymore.